A lot of the folks along that Highway 22 corridor evacuated to the Oregon State Fairgrounds in Salem. That's where Jenny Young is standing by. And Jenny, that included livestock, folks bringing their livestock to the State Fairgrounds. We're going to get to that, Jeff, but right now we're here at the Red Cross Emergency Shelter, our Emergency Center. They don't have shelters. We're here with Sue and Stan, who have lived in Lyons for three decades. Talk to us about what's going on. Well, Lyons and Mill City and Gates is on fire, and Macaulay Mountain's on fire. So you've been here since 2 o'clock this morning. Tell, tell us about that. Well, we had to leave at 10 after 2. And they said, now go evacuate. Now you can't. You got to go now. That's what we done. And you took what? You took your dog. What else did you pack? I had my medication and I walked out the door and I ain't been back home since. All right. And you're waiting for a hotel room. Talk to us about what they've told you about that. Well, they said they're still working on it. Mm. They have nothing yet. Mm. Have you ever seen anything like this? No. No. Nobody I've talked to has either around here. We had a friend up there. And he said that he lived up on up from Mill City on a hill, and he said when they run out of there, he said it was coming over the hill. He said it was that bad. What are you expecting when you get back? I don't know. We may not have nothing. Well, we are wishing you the best. Uh, we're going to stay in touch with you. Um, we'll see you out here in just a little bit. But that stand and Sue, like you heard, they've lived in Lyons for 31 years, never seen anything it's like this. They have been waiting for the Red Cross to be able to get them a hotel room since about two o'clock this morning. We're in the middle of COVID. You cannot have these uh, traditional Red Cross shelters where you see them set up cots like they probably would have set up cots here in the uh, fairgrounds building if we weren't in the middle of COVID, but they cannot do that. They're having to find uh, hotel rooms. That space is limited. They're asking people uh, to sleep in their cars if they're willing to do that. Uh, just really sad for folks out here. But Jeff, you mentioned the livestock situation. People are bringing hundreds of livestock uh, to the fairgrounds here where they're being sheltered. Uh, we've seen horses, we've seen pigs, uh, llamas, any kind of smaller livestock. Fortunately, they have room for those uh, livestock, but that just sad situation. People out here are saying that they have not seen anything like this. But fortunately, the county, the Red Cross, able to help. I know the Red Cross has helped 600 people at this one location uh, since early this morning. They have uh, five other locations across the state where they are trying to get shelter for people. Uh, we're going to stay out here, continue to talk to folks. Like you heard Sue say and her husband Stan, they don't know what is going to happen when they get back to their home, if they have a home to go back to. We'll send it back to you. Yeah, you're concerned about your home, you're concerned about your animals and all those precious things uh, that we all own and want to keep safe. Jenny Young, live in Salem. Thank you. Let's go.